Hey everybody, it's Brian Gardner, WordPress advocate at WP Engine. I am continuing the series, Five Things I Love About WordPress, and this is probably my favorite one, patterns. I love building patterns, I love sharing patterns, I love using patterns, and I love teaching people how to build patterns. Let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, patterns are a wonderful thing that's somewhat new to WordPress. Uh, the site editor, the block editor, Gutenberg, whatever you want to call it, WordPress patterns are where it's at. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, the site editor here to show you what patterns are and then kind of walk through a few different ways in which they can be used. So inside the site editor, if you click on patterns, you'll see here in the frost theme, uh, there is a collection of patterns here as I scroll up and down. Uh, and basically what you can see here is that patterns are sort of preset, predefined blocks of blocks, right? Group of blocks. And so, uh, for instance, if you scroll down here, you'll see uh, what look like headers and footers. I'll click here on featured. You can see that there are um, some columns with boxes. This looks kind of like a hero section uh, made up of an image block, a heading block, a paragraph block, some buttons, and so on. And so themes can supply these patterns with them. So when you activate a, a block theme, you have access to the library of patterns that um, the theme has. And so this is just sort of a way to view the patterns that come with the theme. Uh, as you can see here on the left-hand side, uh, they're categorized. So if you wanted to specifically look and see which pricing uh, patterns are available in the theme here, uh, there you go. So I'm gonna uh, click out of here and go into a page. Uh, I've already got a page called Pattern Page. And so I'm gonna show you how to insert a pattern. When you're here, uh, either you can use this plus button here or this button up here, which is really the block inserter. I use that all the time. Uh, and so if you click on that, you'll see there's a tab here called Patterns. And similar to the site editor view, you can see the categories of patterns. I'm just gonna go ahead and select pricing and I will just arbitrarily pick this pattern. So you can see right behind that panel, uh, it inserted the pattern into the page. And so if I were to just hit update and then refresh the page, you'll see the pattern now exists in the page. Of course, uh, in this instance on this page, if I wanted to have pricing, I would maybe add a heading, a paragraph, sort of introduce the pricing, maybe some FAQs below it. Uh, but what you can see here now is a pattern that's inserted. I will go into list view, as I had mentioned in a previous video, and we'll just kind of break this open a little bit so you can see how this pattern uh, is made. So each um, pricing table element is wrapped in a group that's standard for patterns. You can see inside of that is the columns block. Uh, so inside of each columns block is the column. And so you can see there's one, two, three, and then inside each column or pricing table column, you can see there's a group that sort of wraps the, the heading and the price. Then there's a group that lasts the lists and then uh, the buttons block there. Now, one thing that's uh, interesting here is, and we're asked this often in the WordPress space is, well, I've inserted this pattern into a page. What happens next? Well, the way patterns work right now is that when you insert it into a page, it kind of is a singular instance. You've just taken HTML code that exists within the pattern and you've dropped it into the page editor. Let's say in this particular case, you have a pricing uh, table on several pages throughout your site. And this is where patterns get really great. I'm gonna go back into the site editor. And what we're gonna do here is, um, actually, let me go back to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double back because this is an easier way to do it. Uh, okay, so you've, you've added this into the page and You've got the group selected. You can see these three little dots. I'm gonna say create pattern and I'll explain why. Uh, I'm gonna call this my pricing table. Uh, you can see here that there's a toggle for synced and I'll explain what this means. Sync patterns means that uh, you can use this across multiple places of a website and there's an, a singular place to make an update. In other words, uh, like a source of truth for that pattern. So I will show you how that works. So we've created that. Uh, now, if you go into the site editor, well, let's just update the page. If you go into the site editor and you click on patterns, there's now a, a category here called my patterns. And so what this is when you click on it is a list of patterns that you, the user has created. These patterns get stored in the database. They do not get written back to the theme. 
And you can see here, there's this little purple indicator here that shows you that it's a synced pattern. Now I can, in this case, because this is a pattern I created, click on this and I can make edits. And this is where it's important. Because it's a synced pattern, if you make edits to this here, we'll call it the pattern sort of editor, uh, like maybe you wanna change a price and reduce this price down to 295. If I hit save, what it does is it saves that edit to any instance where this pattern is used on the website. So for instance, on this page where I inserted it, uh, you can see I just refreshed the page and this went from 495 to 295. And so uh, if I created the pattern and I just wanna use it here and there, I don't necessarily have to make it a synced pattern. Um, headers and footers are sort of examples of uh, synced areas or patterns that you might wanna just kind of globally across all instances make these changes. And so that's how powerful patterns can be. And so uh, imagine uh, either a testimonial or a call to action or something like that that you might wanna place you know, throughout several posts on a website. Uh, and so what you can do is you can start to kind of create these patterns. Um, maybe we'll call it like recipe advertisement or something like that, where you can then take that and insert that you know, in 10, 20, 50 blog posts, wherever you want. And then if you need to make an edit to that pattern, you can go into the site editor to the My Pattern space and you can make that change and it'll uh, change all the instances so you only have to do it once. Uh, again, I will back up and just uh, review where we were at. Um, we are in the site editor and we go to Patterns. Again, this is not really a management screen other than just sort of showing all of the patterns that exist. And once again, I'll go back into a Patterns page and you could add multiple patterns for page. For instance, I'll just go ahead um, and add another one here. Let's uh, let's see, what do we wanna, we wanna add a call to action? Maybe, maybe not. You've got some featured patterns. Maybe there's you know some FAQs or something to that effect, or if you just wanna add a, a, a box or something like that, or maybe some testimonials. Maybe you wanna throw some testimonials underneath that. And so I'll go ahead and just click one of these and hit update, uh, and then you'll see it just adds below. And so uh, one last thing that's very powerful. Some themes offer, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these off the page so I can show. Uh, there are some patterns that are called page patterns. And this is really where WordPress gets powerful. Uh, as you can see here, you can add an entire page of patterns. And so, uh, for instance, this white section could be its own pattern. These logos could be its own pattern. Uh, this little one, two, three, four section, a call to action. And so you can actually take patterns and group a bunch of patterns inside what's called a page pattern. And with one click, I'm gonna hit update. Everything gets added to the page. Uh, I'll refresh my page and you can see all of a sudden I just have a full, uh, almost a full website with the one click. Again, the power of patterns, I love them. As I've mentioned before, I love building them. I love designing them, creating them, sharing them. And so um, patterns probably uh, one of the most bullish things about WordPress I am right now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this where I walk through what's new with WordPress uh, or in this case, things I love about WordPress. And happy building. Have a great day.